Hello and welcome back my resin monkeys to a brand new video. Yes, I know I haven't really done anything for the past two months. I know you guys want to see more and I want to say that I have many videos in the oven right now as well as others being planned. The main reason for the slow production was mainly due to my planning of my little trip to Japan and coming back and then suffering from jet lag for the last two weeks and then getting back to normal, hence you watching this brand new video. Now enough with the rambling and excuses, I know you want to see what this is all about. Let me tell you guys that my original Dremel rotary tool just died like a month before I left. I had the Dremel 77 wireless tool with two velocity settings. Now the tool itself is okay, the problem was the battery. Over the span of four years, I had to change the battery at least three times. This time, my current battery stopped holding a charge, so instead of buying a fifth one, I decided to invest in a more reliable rotary tool. This is the Dremel 8050 Micro with a five-speed setting and lithium battery. It has a sleek design. I like that as it gives me a little bit more comfort when holding it. The problem is that it's a little heavy for what Dremel advertises. They say that it's great for engraving on glass, yet you need the tool to be lightweight to actually have more control to make those kind of details. But you know marketing, they'll say anything to sell. This Dremel has a very nice charging cradle, and the cradle itself has four little pinholes that you can use to store some of your drill bit accessories. It also has a cable plug to connect the power outlet on the side. The top has the lock button to change your collar chucks, your power button, and below you have two speed buttons to change the velocity in which you want your Dremel to work at. When you turn it on, its default setting is medium at 15,000 RPMs. Now you can control the speed by decreasing or increasing it by 5,000 RPMs each time you do this meaning that the lowest speed is set to 5,000 and the fastest is set to 28,000 RPMs. What I like about this tool is that the battery charge is shown with this light. Green is fully charged, orange is 50%, and it turns red when you have 25% left. You can use this tool for four hours straight before you need to charge it again. One of the key features that I was looking for this tool to have was the ability to use my universal chuck for drill bits that I was using with my 7700. I was very happy to see that it fits okay with this model as I'm constantly changing bits and it's problematic for me to change collets with specific sizes. I like to use very fine drill bits to pin or repair fragile or small pieces. Setting it at the lowest speed helps me to be very gentle with these procedures and it also has a lot of power when I need it for harder things like cutting wood and really fast. This Dremel does have some accessories, mainly for engraving, which is great because that's what I normally use to make key guides when puttying. It also has standard stuff like cutting and sanding bits. Overall, I give this tool a 4.5 out of 5 stars. That's only considering for what you can use it with this hobby. Now, I didn't give it the 5 stars, mainly due to the Dremel being a little heavy when it was advertised of being lightweight. I would have expected to be much lighter than the 7700, but it's about the same. The only downside, however understandable, is the price. It's retailed at $89. Okay, now let me tell you guys this before you run out and buy it like crazy. I purchased this particular model because I tend to use this tool more than normal GK builders, and let me explain how. I work with four or five different kits at a time, so when I work on them, I need my Dremel to have a charge and not fail me when I need to use it. It needs to be capable to withstand all the abuse that I give my rotary tool for the same reason, because I not only drill, I sand and also cut with it, and I do that a lot. So I need something reliable. Normal GK builders will probably work on one or two kits at a time, but not frequently, and probably not at the same time on the prep stage. So unless you need a heavy duty power and performance, consider buying this model. If not, I would recommend buying the 7700, even though you might need to purchase a spare battery later on. I hope you liked this video. Remember to give your thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done it already. Until next time, my resin monkeys, thanks for watching.